Before you begin, you will need to remove the axle shafts from the vehicle. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. Here is a complete shaft assembly. The boots, green arrows, are serviceable items. The inner CV joint, yellow arrow, is also serviceable. You can replace the outer CV joint, just remember the shaft comes with it. Begin by removing the band clamps for the inner boot. Remove the band clamp for the boot seal on the shaft. Remove the band clamp from the boot to the inner CV joint. Use a flathead chisel to remove the inner CV joint grease cap. Tap the chisel while working around the perimeter of the cover until you can remove it. Use external snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring that secures the inner CV joint on the shaft. Keep the CV joint straight as you slide it off the shaft. Use a chisel or flathead screwdriver to tap off the boot from the inner CV joint. Once disassembled, find the spacer that has fallen off into the boot. Remember to install this spacer during reassembly. Use a pair of flat ring pliers to remove the snap ring that holds the inner CV joint in place. If you are only changing the inner CV joint or boot, you can stop here and reassemble the unit. Reassembly is the reverse of removal. Remove the band clamp where the boot seals around the shaft. Remove the band clamp that seals the boot to the outer CV joint. Twist the boot and while twisting, push the boot downward in the direction of the blue arrow away from the CV joint. Slide the boot off the open end or the inner part of the shaft. You cannot separate the outer CV joint as it is built onto the shaft, but you can repack the joint with special CV joint grease that is provided with your boot kit. Reassembly is the reverse of removal. Rotate the inner cage and inner bearing race, green arrow, so it is more perpendicular to the outside bearing race. Remove the ball bearings, green arrows, from the cage and the inner race. Slide out the cage and inner race and remove all of the ball bearings. Twist the inner race in the cage until they are perpendicular to one another. Clean and dry all parts and be sure not to leave any cleaning solution on the parts for reassembly. Install the inner race, green arrow, in the outer cage, yellow arrow. Assemble the inner race in the cage, green arrow, then install it in the outer joint race. Hold the inner race and cage at a 45 degree angle to the outer race and start installing the ball bearings, green arrows. Flip over the CV joint and install the remaining ball bearings, green arrows. Be sure to put two ball bearings in last that are spread apart from one another in the outer race, yellow arrow. You will not be able to install the inner part of the CV joint if you install the two ball bearings into slots that are closer together, red arrow. Install the inner boot first and pack it with grease. Don't forget to install the spacer with the lip, green arrow, facing away from the CV joint on the shaft, then put the CB joint on the shaft. Installation of all other components is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.